At a glance, the lance seems like a boring weapon. It doesn't have some flashy moves compared to the other weapons, and it all it just looks like you're poking the monster to death. But after having used this weapon quite a lot, I have come to learn that this weapon is actually fun to use. So let's talk about it. Five tips where the fifth tip will be about skills that I would recommend using with this weapon. Now before we start, I want to say that this video is catered towards the new players of Monster Hunter World Iceborne. So for you advanced and veteran players that are out there and you're watching this video, you don't need to watch it because I'm sure you know what you're doing with this weapon. But it would be great if you could just leave in the comments down below some extra information that I may have missed. So let us start off with our first tip, which is positioning. Positioning is vital for the Lance players. Unlike other weapons, this weapon is just really heavy and hard to maneuver with. There is a few movesets that let you move closer to the monster, but other than that, you need to position yourself correctly so that you can deal damage to a specific part of the monster's body. Otherwise, you'll be poking at the air. like. I've done it quite a lot of times where I've just hit nothing of the monster and I had to get closer to the monster. So make sure that you set your position yourself correctly to do the damage. The second tip is to make full use of the guard dash. Now that's the move where your character just moves forward with the shield in front of them. Now although this move doesn't do any damage to the monster, it can really help with closing this, the distance between you and that monster. And it can also help with going through a monster's attack and as well as a monster's roar. So make full use of that, make use of that guard dash to go through any attack. And also, once you're done with said guard dash, make sure you press the B or circle button. By doing that, you're able to do the leaping thrust attack, which does an additional two hits of damage. The third tip is a really important tip for you Lance players is to make full use of this weapon's counters. If performed correctly, you'll be able to take no damage from the monster and be able to inflict damage back to them. Now there's three ways of performing this. There's just the normal one, which is just holding down the R2 and pressing circle. The second one is doing it through the power guard. So what we need to do is hold down R2 and circle, then press X. And that's when you go into the power guard state. And then when, once the monster attacks you, then you need to press the circle button for yourselves. Unlike the first one, the normal counter, you need to manually count, press the counter button yourself for this one. So make sure to remember that. And also with the power guard counter, you can basically change the angle of your counter. So that one's different to the normal counter. And the last counter ability is to counter with your clutch claw. To do this, all you need to do is hold down the R2 button, then hold, hold down the L2 button, let go of the R2 button, then you press circle. That might be a bit difficult, but <laughs> that's how you do it. By doing this, you see your counter prepare the clutch claw out, and then once the monster hits, you will basically clutch onto the monster in, in this cool Nice flying animation with you just swinging back to the monster where you, where you clutched on. This is a really fun move to do. But once again, like all the encounters that we have, really, you need to time it perfectly, basically. If you don't time it perfectly, you will take damage. But you can heal it back up. It's fine. <laughs> Moving on to our fourth tip, which is to make use of this weapon's infinite combos. Now to do this, all you need to do is, once you press your button combinations of triangle and circle, just press the counter or evade button so that it resets your combos. Both options of pressing either evade or the counter is pretty good for whatever situation you find yourself in. Maybe you're in the middle of performing a combo and you're not hitting a specific part of the monster's body that you would like to, then just press the evade so that you can just change your position and hit that particular part of the monster. Whereas the other option of just countering, maybe you're in the middle of doing some combos and then you can see the monster prepping for an attack. You need to do is just press counter, then you're still continuously doing your attack. Either way, you don't want to be sitting behind your, your shield and not doing any damage at all. So 
Just make full use of the counters, make full use of the vades to reset your combos and continuously attack the monster. Just don't stand there hiding behind your shield, waiting until the monster is tired. And here we are at the fifth tip, which is skills that I would recommend using. Now, I'm not trying to say that you definitely need these skills. I'm just saying, possibly take a look at them. It might help out with the gameplay of the Lance. Now, one of them skills is Guard. Guard will obviously help out with your shield, reducing the amount of knockback that you take from the monster, and as well as the stamina depleted when guarding. This goes into play with using the counters because there's some attacks that can really knock you back but having guard on will knock it back not so much and allow you to keep back on the offense of the counter guard. The quick sheath skill is another good one because boy putting this weapon back is a real pain. It is a real pain especially when you really want to heal yourself and the monster's just going crazy. Yeah quick sheath I need to put that weapon back. Divine Blessing could be good as well for whenever you, I guess, miss counter. Is that a word, right? Basically, whenever you do your counter and maybe you've timed it wrong, they're still going to take that damage. So maybe Divine Blessing will help out reduce the amount of damage that you take from that counter. Or I guess maybe whenever you mess up, either way, Divine Blessing is a pretty good one to go for. The skill Offensive Guard is a really fun one. I like the little shining effect that you get for blocking a monster's attack on time that's like it feels so rewarding i don't know why <laughs> other than that i mean you do get increased attack power depending on what level the skill is so offensive guard really good the Urugan ambition is another great one because it allows you to block some unblockable attacks now there's some attacks that are just like beams that you just normally can't block you have your shield out thinking that you can block this attack and then all you see is your character just flying back so Hugan Ambition is another great one for blocking out particular attacks namely projectiles they're the ones that normally you just can't block I don't know why so that's all I have for the lance the lance is a really fun weapon to use it's not all just about hiding behind the shield and poking the monster every now and then it's learning how to be really offensive with this weapon so that's why I say just be offensive with this weapon don't hide behind the shield and just poke every now and then just be offensive so thank you guys for watching if you found this video useful in some way give it a like and subscribe to the channel for more helpful videos and also i do stream on twitch the link is down in the description below where you can see me live and just do some stupid things every now and then so make sure to tune in there and also make sure to follow me on twitter where i do post a few channel updates every now and then so thank you guys for watching and i shall see you guys later Hey, Barrios, you're looking a bit tired. Does this work? Cool. What? That ice?